Hi, my name is Derek Hunt and I am the chair of the certification committee. What I want to cover on this webinar really is just go through the certification programme. So the topics I will cover really is a little bit more information about the programme, why you want to buy certified devices and the risks if you don't, talk a little bit about the Law Alliance device showcase, describing just an overview of the process of certifying and doing the RF testing for the devices and talk about the authorised test houses, then really just give you a quick overview of the LoRaWAN certification tool and finish off with what the benefits of certification really are. So the programme itself, um, its, current, its main goal is to ensure the correct behaviour of end devices. And it guarantees that they adhere to the LoRaWAN standard, not only the layer two specification, but also the regional parameter or the regions that the device is going to work in. As you're aware, the ISM band um, has different regulations depending on whereabouts in the world you are. So the certification program is tailored for ETC or FCC type regulations. The device is certified in its normal operating physical connection with no other connections made to it and it must be cost competitive. The goal is always one day test time for the certification, not weeks or months. We also have an automated test program to make sure that we maximize that coverage within the time constraints. And another goal is to provide testing services as near as possible to the developer for any region. Certification is done against the build of software and firmware for a specific version of LoRaWAN specification and region. And there is a separate RF performance testing to guarantee devices range and that it will actually produce a signal in all directions. And this has really been requested by the operators as when they're trying to deploy devices, they need to be certain that no matter how the device is mounted, it will give the performance that they're expecting. The one thing though it does not cover is any regulatory testing and this must separately be done for any device before it's shipped anyway. So why do you want to certify a device? And more importantly, what's the risks if you don't? Well, really the first thing is you want to have confidence and reliability, whether that's you as a device manufacturer shipping it or you as a, an end user that you are actually trying to deploy those devices. So it ensures that it works as intended. And more importantly, will work under any network conditions. Too many times I've seen the case where a device has been tested under a particular network server and then when it goes to be used on a different network server by a different operator, for instance, it doesn't work because they have slightly different parameters or they use it in a slightly different way. So the one thing we guarantee is that it will work under all conditions. That will significantly reduce your support costs. You can effectively get it tested and proven before you go into mass production and ship a product that you're actually aware of. It's very expensive to repair or fix something after installation. It also helps you from your marketing of your product and your own reputation. You can quote the certification as a really the quality of the device. And more importantly, if you have faulty devices, you will very soon lose your credibility. There's also a cost impact, and this is really looking at the performance and any faults that happen with it. Uh, poor devices increase the number of gateways needed, so have a cost on the operator to install more gateways. And any problems with it could cause not only problems to your device, but other devices in the network. So ensuring you only supply LoRaWAN certified, certified devices will significantly improve and ease the deployment of your network and overall give you a much longer term, better return on investment. So if we look at the showcase now, um, so only certified devices from the Law Alliance are shown in the showcase. The showcase itself is on the Law Alliance website. And there are various filters that you can put onto the showcase. So you can select devices by the LoRaWAN version, the region, or even the vertical market. Uh, and what we've recently added as well is an additional filter on here for devices that meet the EU operator's acceptance test. So they can be selected along, that, along with the different output performances of the RF. And really what they're looking for as part of that is the device certification, the RF performance tests, and then there's this supplementary device question. So if you want to deploy or use a device, 
this supplementary information gives you all the information on how to set it up quickly and that's all stored within the showcase. The other thing obviously if you have a LoRaWAN certified device uh, you can use the, the logo on your product and actually promote it as a LoRaWAN certified device. So for more information go to the website the link is on there but if you just look at the Laura Alliance website you'll see it from there. So the next thing really is just to briefly go over the process of certifying an RF testing um, and the role really of the authorised test houses. So I won't go through the full details of the flowchart, but in essence, the steps that you actually follow is, um, first of all, and I'll talk a little bit about the LoRaWAN certification test tool, the LCTT. You have the ability now for device manufacturers to test that in your own show, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but really from at that point, what your next step is then is to contact one of the authorised test houses. And as you can see from this, we have six global authorised test houses and they have 17 physical different locations around the world. So that hopefully will enable you to find the one that's closest to you. You then select which authorised test house you want to do, having requested quotations and things from them, uh, and then send your device. As we said before, the successful test should take approximately a day um, for the lab test, for the protocol side of it, and one day for the RF tests. And usually most authorised test houses are able to complete the process within about a week, assuming there's no other faults found with it. All that information about the testing has then sent to the Alliance, the Alliance checks it, and if it's okay with it, it will provide a certificate back to the device manufacturer and we'll also add it into the showcase that I showed you previously. And that we're seeing as a good way of really pushing and promoting. So go to the showcase if you want to see devices that are certified. And for you as a manufacturer, that is a good platform to show off your devices. So the next thing I want to talk about was just the LoRaWAN certification te test tool. One of the things that I've been asked for repeatedly since I started doing this certification program was a way for device manufacturers to test their own devices prior to certification. And this tool really has been designed to give them that ability. It effectively runs on a local PC, as you can see by um, this here. It, the PC itself runs a test control layer and uh, the network server. It then connects to a local gateway, which then talks to your device under test. And with this tool, it allows the manufacturers to test at their own area. Um, they can run through all of the certification tests that are actually done on the device. And more importantly, if there's any fault problems or faults found with it, it allows them the time to actually prove the faults out. And it has two modes of working. You can either use it as this pre-certification tool, where it follows as close as possible to the LoRaWAN certification program, or you can put it into the debug mode and in that debug mode, you can stop and start it. You can run specific tests. You can also generate your own scripts or send Mac commands down to the tool itself. And so far we've had over 130 licenses distributed for this tool and has been used worldwide. I won't go into any more detail. There is a follow on webinar, which give you a full demonstration of the LCTT. And that's really on a separate presentation that will be following this one. So really just to conclude this very short brief webinar, what is the benefits of certifying? Well, really it's to give the confidence and reliability and the end user a reassurance that your device works as intended, or if you're buying it, that it actually is capable of working as you expect it to do. It will significantly reduce the costs of you trying to support it later. And it's a good quality mark to show that you've actually gone through, designed it properly, got it fully tested before you do it. And as I said, poor performance devices increase the number of gateways needed and has a significant cost. And that certification program is also now fully available for LoRaWAN 104. And you can see below in the red, the different regions that are supported by that. So hope you found this useful and look forward to seeing you with a device certified soon. Thank you very much.